Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. In this new quick bite format I'm just going to show you a really quick simple trick. In this case how to test a remote control with a camera. I like fixing problems, I really do. And one of my favourite methodologies for fixing a problem is to divide it up into smaller and smaller chunks that I can actually test each part to see how it all works and find what doesn't work. So a case in point, trying to get the air conditioner to work in our house. There could be any of a hundred things wrong. The power might have tripped, the wiring might have been chewed, something could be internally wrong with the air conditioner itself, who knows. Maybe it's the remote, the remote might be broken, the batteries in the remote might be flat. Well that's where we get to this part of the test. How do you test an infrared remote control? What even is infrared? Infrared is light that can't be seen by the human eye. Technically it's in the spectrum between 780 nanometers and 1 millimeter. But really it's just a type of light that we can't see. But do you know what can see infrared light? Other than the infrared sensor on all of your devices? Your camera. You can test your remote just by pointing it at your camera and seeing whether you can see that little flash when you press a button. In this case it's a Canon D550 digital camera which is a little bit cumbersome to actually try and do it with but there are easier ways. Here is my laptop and I can test all of these different remotes just by picking up each one pointing it at the screen, having the camera app running and seeing if I can see the flash of the LED inside. Of course we don't always have a DSLR or a webcam and computer handy but we've almost always got our phones in our pockets. One trick I learnt with this is that the iPhones since about the iPhone 5 actually have an infrared filter on the main camera. There's some u reason around taking really good photos that makes this useful. But what it doesn't make it useful for is testing infrared remotes. For that you have to switch to the front facing camera like this and test whether the remote is working. So question of the day, have you ever needed to test an infrared remote? And what do you think of this new quick bite format? Let me know in the comments down below and give me a thumbs up. The Tech Doctor exists to help you learn about technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and fix it when it breaks. You can see some older videos here and here and you can click on the logo down here to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.